The Lucky Old Woman Long ago, there lived a cheerful old woman who earned her living by doing chores for the townspeople. Although she worked hard, she was very poor. Every evening before sunset, the old woman was sent on her way, for after dark, a frightening creature, the Grumple Teaser, haunted the countryside. When warned about the Grumple Teaser, the old woman would just say, oh, Piffle. One day, the old woman came upon a pot lying in the grass. Who would be foolish enough to lose a perfectly good pot like this, she cried. Maybe the pot has a hole in it. She lifted the lid and cried out in surprise. The pot was full of gold. Moon and stars, I'm the luckiest person alive. With this gold, I'll buy a long polished table and spread a banquet fit for a king. Happily, the old woman wrapped her shawl around the pot and began to drag it home. Over field and stream, she dragged it. When she bent down to admire her treasure again, the old woman could hardly believe her eyes. The pot of gold was gone. In its place lay a shining lump of silver. I must be the luckiest person alive. With this treasure, I'll buy two cozy chairs for sitting in front of the fire. And when friends come over to visit, she chuckled, I'll serve tea and biscuits from real China. The old woman set off again. Finally, she reached her home. The old woman opened the front door and pulled her prize in after her. When she unfastened her shawl, she discovered that the silver had turned into a great stone. I must be the luckiest person alive, she said. I'm tired, and there's nothing so nice to sit on when you're tired as a great stone. She pushed it before the fire and sat down. All of a sudden, the stone shivered and shook. It was the Grumple Teaser. The old woman was thrown high into the air. The Grumple Teaser bounced her up and down, then dropped the old woman in the middle of the floor and disappeared. The old woman burst out laughing. I must be the luckiest person alive. Fancy not only seeing the Grumple Teaser, but taking a ride on him as well. But her laughter died as she looked around. Everything she owned lay chipped and smashed on the floor. I have no luck at all, she sobbed. The Grumple Teaser was listening at the window and felt very ashamed. As the old woman sadly swept up the rubble, there came a loud banging at the door. The Grumple Teaser is trying to fool me again, she sighed as she opened the door, but there was no one there. When she turned back, all the broken furniture had disappeared. In its place were two cozy chairs before the fire, a fine thick carpet on the floor, and on a polished table set with real china was a magnificent banquet. I am the luckiest person alive, she cried, but I can't eat all this food myself. Grumple Teaser, please come in and share my supper with me. In came the Grumple Teaser. Together they shared the wonderful feast. The old woman never mentioned to the villagers that she had met the Grumple Teaser, but when she worked, they often heard her chuckle. I am the luckiest person alive.